Ajá. Jonathan Bonilla. Hey, Janet. How are you, girl? Hey, Alejandro Pleites. Mr. Ricardo Fiora, Karen, we have Ivan Alejandro Herrera. That's good. How are you guys? Hi, Ale, how are you? Good to see you again, sir. Hey, well, hey, Juancito. Hey, what happened, Juancito? The best? Oh, the greatest one, right? Hey, it's me. Hi. Welcome back. Yay. It's been a pleasure to have you once again, guys. I'm so, so happy. Yeah. Woohoo. All righty. We have a lot of people here. Thanks God that I was not the only girl. You know what? In the last group, I was the only girl with a lot of boys. And finally, two girls arrived and I was like, whew, very good. Excellent. I almost like oh, have a heart attack. Can you imagine being the only girl between all guys? Oh my goodness, right? Uh, another girl would like to be in my place, but no. <laughs> Very good. Hey guys, how was your vacation without English classes? Tell me, how was it? Was it good? Hey, it was good. It yeah. was good. Aha, uh -huh, Alejandro. <laughs> I think it's good for being so honest. I know that. Mm -hmm. In the time that oh the class finished, and mm -hmm. my university class started. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. I've been busy, a little bit busy this week. No, the last week. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. Yeah, you got to start a lot, right? Yeah, a lot. <laughs> oh, my God. But are you okay? You can, like, yeah. handle everything? Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> That's great. Oh, I'm so happy. And you know what? I'm so happy that we'll start really fast so I can see you again. I miss you guys. I don't know about you, but I miss you. Yeah. Definitely. Me I you miss too. you. Me too. <laughs> do you believe in Iris? <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I know I that do. you do. Yeah, very good. Well, you know what? We have a lot of uh, guys who are really uh, being with me from the last model, but also we have some new guys, actually, right? I do have, for, for example, Mr. Ricardo Fioroa. Yeah, he's a brand new guy. Also, Grecia Nunez, Miss Sonia Perez, Heidi Melara, uh, Karen Lopez, and Ivan Alejandro Herrera, and yes. Mercy is already with us. So let's listen to the new guys, okay? We want to know each other a little bit more. So <clears throat> volunteer to start. Okay, thank you so much, Ricardo. Go ahead. What? <laughs> Mr. Figueroa, we want to listen to you. Hi, teacher. Hi, Hi everybody. Hi. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Just kidding. Long <laughs> vacation. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I do the I a lot uh, a lot of time I work uh, very much and but uh, I miss you the English class. You miss the English I, class. I, I, yeah. Now you're back. You can imagine you're back in the jungle, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't worry. Don't get panic, okay? You can ask Janet. Janet, at the first time, she was like, What? Yes, exactly. Like that expression, you cannot imagine. But now she already get used to it. So don't worry. Yeah, right, Janet? I don't bite. Unless it's um, necessary. It's okay now. Uh -huh. Now it's okay. <laughs> but the first time, you cannot imagine her face. Okay. <laughs> you scare me. No, nah, a lot. A lot. No, nah. <laughs> seriously, no way. No, I don't know why she says that. No idea. No, no, I don't know. No, no, no. Right, Ali? No way. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Let's listen to. Oh, Janet, now you have your microphone on. Let's listen to you. You can talk about yourself so everybody else can um, know a little bit about you. I uh, just started my work today. Mm. 
I was resting 15 days. Okay. So working in home, but resting in the same time. Yes. So it was a busy day today. Uh, many things to do. Mm -hmm. um, uh, when come back to home, the traffic was awful. Yes. And in a and I slept so a little time in the bus. You slept on the bus? Oof. Oh my God. <laughs> yes, definitely you're tired. It's really, really but, hard to get back to business, right? Yeah, but that's all. That's all? No. Yes. No, no, no. What's the phrase that that's we use it. when we finish? Ah, okay, very that's good. It. That's it. Excellent. <laughs> very good. So you know a, yeah. a little bit about Janet. Okay, let's listen also to another girl. Who used to be with us in the class, Vanessa? Hi, Vanny. How are you, my girl? Hi, miss. Hi, we miss you. I miss you too, and you know, and too. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I don't, don't do, don't. Uh, I don't, I don't do anything really. I just only work. Really? Yes. My oh. life is so boring. Just work. And drinking coffee, right? And no, and drinking soda. <laughs> oh soda, me apologize. It was a coke. Oh, okay. Excuse me. I don't wanna I don't wanna offend you. Oh. <laughs> That's okay, but it's really nice to have you in today's class. I do really appreciate it. You come back. Thank you, Miss. Nice to see you too. Nice to see you too. Iris, what about you, Iris? Now it's your turn to speak. Go ahead. Oh, uh -oh. All quiet. Quiet. Oh, always in my sound class and cooking and at home. That's cooking. All. Oh. <laughs> okay. Cooking. Do you have a specialty? Um. Yeah. No. 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 Especially no. 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 Are you sure? <laughs> Pupusa. Oh, oh, you Pupusa. see. Pupusa. <laughs> you know what? It, it, it's. It's not easy to make pupusas. Uh, so, well, so. if you have practiced, yes. But depends if you would like to make corn pupusas or rice flour pupusas. They're totally different. Yes. Yes. Sure. I have noticed that. I think I can make <laughs> uh, one of them, but not the other ones. It's a disaster. Oh. You cannot imagine. Maybe one time you can teach me how to do it, okay? <laughs> Very good. Let's listen to Juancito. Juancito, hi, how are you? Hi, what teacher. the best? <laughs> I miss you a lot last ah, week. Me too. Yeah, but I'm so happy I, that you're here. I feel very exciting. Um, I be, I be back in this class. I, Yay. Me too. Um, um, let me see today. Uh, um, well, today I was busy day, but I, mm -hmm. I think in, in, in this, um, in this course, every, every single day. So you you were like expecting yes. this the classes to start again. Yes. I'm so happy to hear that. Yes. Hi, but then these basically this model is going to be harder, guys. Because it's supposed yeah. to be like <laughs> pre advanced, right? <laughs> yeah. I, yes. I check I check it out. I check out this at first. First topic is um, difficult. No, it's going to be so much fun. <laughs> Don't worry. You know that grammar is always fun with me. When you learn. All right. All right. So All right. yeah, now that we already start like warming up a little bit, right? I want to listen just one more person, and it will be somebody new. So uh, 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 Gracia Nunez. I knew she's going to ask me. Okay, Gracia, Hello. tell us a little bit about yourself. Hello. Hi, everyone. Um, hi, teacher. My name is Gracia Nunez. 
I lost one year to study English because I studied uh, in uh, a presential uh, class mm -hmm. in in English comparative, but I uh, uh, stopped mm -hmm. uh, studying because. Uh, I my job is very hard and mm -hmm. I don't I don't continue uh, in a, a online classroom. Okay. Uh, but I I decided to uh, return to the class this year. That's amazing. That's a really great goal that you have, Gracia. Very good. I know I understand that sometimes it's really difficult to manage every all the activities that we have, right? Yes, of course. Yeah. Uh, Co uh, manage it with the job, with the family responsibilities, etc. But if you would like to, you have a goal, you would like to reach it, you do a sacrifice. And yes. that's what I like, that you show a commitment. Thanks. So happy to have you. No, thank you for coming back. To, you're going okay, to uh, you. suffer. Sorry, you're going to learn a lot. I promise, okay? Everybody's like okay. laughing like <laughs> Hey guys, now uh, to jump out a little bit about today's topic, uh, basically uh, I want to know um, qualities. Let's talk about qualities uh, for the persons or the people that we like to hang out with. You know what hang out is? You know what that means? Hang out? like to go out with to go out with for example yes for example the um in your neighborhood or in your at school or at work there are so many persons that we get uh, related to right for example co-workers boss um cleaning area people whatever but there are a lot of from all of that people not everybody we can consider our friends right and not everybody we go along with. Why? Because there are certain characteristics that we look for somebody who can who can, can be considered a friend or you feel comfortable with, right? So, but in this case, I want you guys to think or to show me your opinion about what is exactly the qualities that you're looking. For example, let's start with the girls. Girls. <clears throat> you have boyfriends, <laughs> you have also <laughs> husbands, right? Fiances or whatever you want to call it. And I want you guys to tell me which qualities you consider or you look for in a partner. Okay. For example, let me see. Uh, let me see. Avoc avocado? Who said avocado here? Avocado? <laughs> avocado? No way. Okay, let me send you something right now. Uh, hopefully, everybody in the WhatsApp group. Hopefully. Okay, girl, I send you guys right now. Uh, what exactly the woman look for in a partner in the United States? I send you a little square with ten qualities. So from those qualities, girls, I want you to take a look really quickly. And let me know which ones are you consider that are more important. Let's talk about that right now. Let's improve our speaking skill. Mm -hmm. <laughs> one at a time, please. One at a time. I know. I know. For example, uh, let me check. Hey, Gracia, are you already um, married? I'm sorry. Are you married uh, already? Yes, yes I am okay. married. So do you have to remember uh, those beautiful days, right? But we're like <laughs> uh, getting to know each other when we were coming, becoming friends and then boyfriend, girlfriend. And finally you said, okay, that is the one. That is the one. Because you had a lot of friends, of course, right? And from those, a lot of friends, you decide that that guy in particularly, he could be, or he could become your partner for your whole life. Why? Because that guy from the other ones have a specific qualities that for you are really important. So tell uh, me, what is exactly that you look for in a guy? 
Listen, guys, pay attention, okay? Mm -hmm. The principal quality uh, I see in my husband. Mm -hmm. uh, you saw your husband, yeah? Uh -huh. he, uh, he is very special with me. Oh. He, all the time he says, Yes, I go with all the uh, play uh, with all uh, plays. Uh, he doesn't say no. I don't like this place, and oh, I okay. I I like uh, uh, I like visit more places. And he is a very uh, he is more uh, uh, special with me and uh. uh um, he uh, look at her he, she's so excited talking about her husband look at her face <laughs> yes continue yes of course they, go ahead Christian. okay I love it and we, the, the other, the, love. The other uh, quality uh, is and um, he is uh, how do you say patient 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 and he is very patient and I don't have patience. You are the opposite I way. Very... <laughs> yes, and it's my compliment. Oh, so you are like Tiger, like Tiger and Winnie Pooh, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> very and good. I'm like, I am Tiger and he, he is a Winnie Pooh. <laughs> yes, definitely. No, yeah, that's that's what I mean. I know, I know, because he's patient, he's like Winnie Pooh, and you're like hyper girl, so you're like Tigger. <laughs> All righty. So you said two qualities: patient and that he's really lovely with you, right? Or, yes. Okay, but is there a third quality? The third quality is more a uh, uh, worker. Or? Oh, he's a hard worker. He's a hard worker. Mm. Uh, he is the the person, and he um, sending all things mm -hmm. with he uh, he give money. Okay. Because it's more is 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 a hard work worker. Ah. I, I understand. Very good. Oh my, you see, look at her face. She's so smiling and happy when she's talking about his girl, <laughs> his boyfriend and husband, of course. Okay, very good. <clears throat> Let's listen to all the girl here. Beatrice. Hi. How are you, girl? Hi. 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 Hey, we're talking about uh, in this case, I send you information, but I want you guys, uh, well, I want your opinion, Beatrice, about what is exactly what you think that a woman look for in a partner? In general, uh, yeah. take, take, a, take a breath, yes. <laughs> yes, okay, goodness. In general, a woman look for in a partner. Ricardo's drinking uh, water, you know? Uh, comprehension. Comprehension, okay, very good. Yeah, that could Love. be understanding. Love, very good. Wow. Uh, <laughs> uh, time together. Oh, okay. Time uh, together. Yes. I will listen. Listen. Good, good <laughs> yes. listener. That's really important, uh, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Affection and um, responsibility at home. Very good. Excellent. Yes. Those are really good qualities. <laughs> but in this case, my husband has them all. <laughs> so that's good yeah definitely yes those are really important for me as well <laughs> but i'm not i don't want to talk about me <laughs> let's listen about iris what about you iris tell me your opinion are you agree with what beatrice said yes um i think it's important um, a good listener mm -hmm. responsible mm -hmm. um, and Love. Love. Very good. Those are really important qualities. <laughs> are you agree with uh, what Iris and Beatrice said, Janet? I agree with her. But I think, uh, uh, for example, I look um, in a parent understanding. Mm -hmm. uh, 
he care for me. Uh, good listener. Mm -hmm. And free soul. Free soul. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I know. Don't you're lag. Yeah, I I looked um don't jealous. Jealous, not I to be hate. jealous. Yes. yes, I know. No. I need my 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 space and I will give my space too. Okay. Very good. Yes, he has space too. Oh, okay, that's, that's good. And he's listening. <laughs> Very good. No, no, that, no, no, no. No, I'm just kidding. No, no, no. Very good, but that's good. That's really he important too. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, Janet. He can listen because he's very, very far away. Ah, okay. Okay, so he's far away. So he's not there. So I he's... can say all the things. <laughs> Excellent. Vane, what about you, Vane? What do you think? Are you agree with us girls? What do you think? Let's listen to a John woman. Hey. Uh, yes, I think that he's very good. Mm -hmm. But personally, I think that the most important is this conversation is a, is to the important is that I can talk with with my partner mm -hmm. and him with me uh, about everything and 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 in, and it's important for me uh, to that he. Yes, friendly. Or friendly. Gentle. Okay. Not just, just with me. Uh, I don't know how to say it. You know, yeah, con los demás. With every with, with everybody else. Yes, with everybody else, and that's all for me. Very good, excellent. Listen, guys, pay attention. Okay. <laughs> okay, and the last one. What about you, Mariana Aguilar? Mariana, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm hey. very happy to see you again. Yeah, me too. Hey, do you ready to enroll in the WhatsApp group? Yes. Okay, <laughs> so I want you to, we want to listen your opinion about what do you think a woman look for in a partner? Um, I think we look um, empathy. Empathy, all right. Mm, honesty. Mm -hmm. Respect. Respect. Okay. And um, I don't know how to say uh, cariñoso. <laughs> okay. How you said that in English, guys, girls? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lovely. No. <laughs> uh, could be. Oh, well, detallista también. Uh -huh. How you said that in English? Mm-hmm. Come on. <laughs> don't tell me that you don't know that. Uh-huh. Don't Google it. Because <laughs> <laughs> I listen that everybody's like right? Every moment I'm looking. Uh-huh, you're looking. Uh-huh. Don't tell me that you don't know. Google doesn't know everything, you know. <laughs> Just to let you know, because there's somebody that says, Google knows everything, but no, that's not truth. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's thoughtful. thoughtful, 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 thoughtful. I will, I will write it right now. Let me just a couple of minutes. Please. Affectionated or loving. And a Google, a Google. Say the retailer. <laughs> no, but that is different. Yeah. Uh huh. Thoughtful. Okay. I already sent it to you. Thoughtful. Retailer. A retailer is for example. That is, yes, that is a an detallista. Yes, but it's for example when you're talking about organizing something at work. For example, in okay. something, for example, you can say your retailer should be able to arrange for the assembly of the furniture, for example. But when you're talking about the quality of a person or that is more like affection, right? 
that is thoughtful. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. What else? Uh -huh. Continue. Express yourself through <laughs> your emotions, right? Uh huh. <laughs> And I think that's it. That's it? Okay. Yeah. And I want to listen to more girls. Hey, what about you, Mercy? What do you think? Mercy. Good night. Good sir. night. Happy. Hey. Happy to see you again. Me too. Tell me, what do you think a woman look for in a man or in a partner? Okay. I am single. About ah, okay, my, but yeah. for future references. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but my opinion is that uh, um, sincere. Sincere, okay. Sincere mm -hmm. and honest. Honest, okay. And uh, worker. Work, hard worker, uh, okay. Also, I would say that, okay. yes. And patient. And patient. Patient. Oh, okay. Oof. Like Romeo and Juliet, okay. Yes. Yeah. Listen, listen to her tone of voice. <laughs> yes. All right. Oof. It's really hot here. Okay. Very good. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Mercy. And okay. one more. Johnny. Hi, Johnny. Johnny. Johnny, Johnny. Hello, teacher. Hello. What about you? What do you think a woman looks for in a man or in a partner? Um. I'm married. And Mahalo, I, so you should know. You have wisdom. <laughs> okay. Uh, loyalty. Loyalty. Um, okay. mm -hmm. uh, hard worker. Hard worker. Very good. Responsible. Okay. And, and enjoy to spend time with me. Oh, okay. Very, yes, that's really important that we become the best partner, right? The best friends. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> Listen to her. Yes. Okay. Very good. Okay. So the girl said, thank you, Jenny. So the girl said, um, I love a man who is a hard worker, who I can talk with, who uh, shows me affection, who loves me that uh, spend time with me that uh, takes time for a good listener you see that's what you said most of you very good excellent <clears throat> now let's listen to the other part man so let me send you now girls and boys the a second information about what men look for in a partner. Now we want to listen <laughs> the man's point of view. And let me start with the, with Ivan, Ivan Alejandro Herrera. Hi, Ivan, how are you? Hi, teacher. Hey. I'm good. What about you? I amazing, sir, as always, because I'm here with you guys. Great. So I want to hear your opinion about what is exactly a man look for in a partner, or in this case, in a girl. I would say that as men, we look for someone who trusts in, in us, okay. that they believe that we can accomplish what we promise. Okay. And for that, we need to... to to fulfill our promises, right? Mm -hmm, of course. Also, I like, I love a woman who can listen to me and likes to share what she thinks about everything. Okay. So oh. mm -hmm. I think that it's good to have a good communication to, to see if there is a problem to solve it in the first stage not getting into the last one. Exactly. So I feel those are the more important things so, for me. So you said direct conversation, straight yeah. to the point. Yeah. Okay, very good. And also believe in your capabilities and respect them. Okay, very good, excellent. <clears throat> Let's listen to another experienced man. Juancito, the best. I <laughs> use <laughs> like yeah. What about you, sir? We want to listen to you. That's um, expert. I I don't know. I like. Um, I, don't like. Uh, I 
I like woman intelligent. Intelligent woman, all right. Uh, um, fixed body. Okay, <laughs> 90, 60, 90, okay. Uh-huh. And look at Iris like <laughs> <laughs> well, he's in here, guys. Okay. Uh -huh. um, Talking about qualities, Juancito. <laughs> Qualities, I mean, yes, personality. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> what about do you like a woman who doesn't respect you? Let me check. Uh, Let me check. What's up? A lot. What's up? I send you information mm -hmm. on the WhatsApp. So look at them and let me know which one do you think is important for you. Yeah, the same affection. Affection. Respect. Respect. Mm. Okay. Uh, what is? Under understanding. Understanding. Okay. Um, yeah, direct conversation. Direct conversation. Very good. Yes, it's really uh, important. That's it. That's it? Um, yeah. Okay. Very good. <laughs> Are you taking notes, right, girls? Just in case. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. What about, uh, 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 where's the other guy? He disappeared. Okay. So, Ricardo, what about you? We cannot listen to you. You need to, like, yeah, activate your microphone. Sorry, teacher. That's okay. Um, I look for in a family in a woman, and uh, she she's a direct conversation. Mm -hmm. uh, the understanding. Understanding, yeah. Um, uh, respect. Mm -hmm. um, affection, affection is very important. And mm -hmm. the truth. Oh, All the, time, the truth. The trust. Trust. Yeah, yeah. Trust yeah. in each other. Okay. Uh, okay. Yes, that's, that's really important. Very good. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, guys. Besides these ones that we already have mentioned, do you think there are another ones that we can add to this list or no? Anything else? Ah, Alejandro, my goodness, Alejandro, we haven't listened to you. Okay, he's the youngest one here. Okay, excuse me, Mr. Alejandro. I almost uh, forgive you and forget you, but no way. Go ahead. That's okay, we can continue. No way, <laughs> we want to listen to you. Um, Thank you, well, Ricardo. What I look for in a partner is... Um, <clears throat> he looks so sophisticated right now, right? Oh, no, it, right. it's someone who uh, well in my personal opinion uh, it's someone who can I have um, deep conversations and find uh, common common things um, between us and um, the affection relax Alejandrito relax yeah, I'm really yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's like shaking legs. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm relaxed. Uh, it's very hot. Yeah, it's ah, yes, of course, the weather, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I think that's it. Uh, that's affection it? and respect uh, also is very important. It is, definitely it is. Yes, you can ask the the people here that is already married, yes, and it's really important, yes. Or also, you can ask your own parents, Alejandrita, right? Yeah. 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 How old they have been together? More than ten years, right? They twenty five years. Twenty five years. Can you imagine? They have yeah. passed through a lot of things, right? Good yeah. and bad, but they're still together. So yeah, there's nice. suppose, there's a reason why. You see. So that's good. Yeah, very good. Excellent. Hey, you know what? And talking about those information, you can think about why is the teacher asking for those kind of things, right? 
And it is because, guys, um, Alejandrito mentioned something really important. I like a person, or we look for a person who, or that, da, 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 da. and those guys, for example, we will, when we like to express, guys, about qualities that we look for in a person, it could be a partner in this case, it could be a friend, it could be somebody that you feel comfortable with, you always are going to use one grammar part that is called relative pronouns, okay? Who, we have three right now, who, that, and which. But today we're going to focus on two of them, who and that. Relative pronouns like who, for example, that the Alejandrito used, um, we can use it in two ways. We can use it as a subject and also we can use it as an object, okay? So today we're going to start part of it. But before we focus on the grammar part, then I know that everybody loves grammar by heart. I know, I know. Let's listen, let's start and develop the listening skill, okay? So I want you guys, you're going to listen to a conversation between two partners, two friends, two friends, right? But the guy is going to ask the girl about somebody else, okay? And I want you guys to pay attention First, one thing, the name of the person that he only mentions one. And second one, about uh, the impression of the girl, okay? What is exactly the qualities that she's talking about the person that, he, that she met, the guy, okay? You understand what we're going to do or no? Yes. Yes. Yes, like horchata or like water? Like mm -hmm. water. <laughs> no, 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 like water. water. No, 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 no. The, I don't, I don't get it. No, a water or a chata? Water. Water, <laughs> like water. Okay. So first of all, pay attention to the name of the person, and then the qualities that the girl mentioned about that person. It could be adjectives or it could be a phrase. Okay. So I want okay. you guys to pay attention to that. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Let me share right now my screen with you. <sighs> oh, sorry. I need to put a play. I'm at play. Exercise two, part B. Listen to Chris and Kim discuss Bob after they met for coffee. How did Kim like him? So, what's the verdict? What did you think of Bob? Well, I was worried at first, especially when I saw that he rode a huge motorcycle. I thought he might be one of those guys who is into heavy metal music and stuff like that. You know what I mean? But he's just a regular kind of guy, right? Yeah, we got along really well. I knew you'd like him. Yeah, I do. And he's really funny. He had me laughing so hard at the coffee shop, remember? I think the people sitting next to us thought we were crazy. So, are you two going to get together again? Definitely. In fact, we're going to the wedding together. That's great! Uh-huh. So, what's the name of the guy? Bob. Bob, very good. Okay, and do you listen? What is exactly how she expressed about him? What kind of guys she likes? Funny. He's funny. Aha, uh -huh, he's, he's funny. funny. He's like... What else? Uh, the first time, let me ask you something. Does she have that opinion about the guy at uh, the first time? Or no? No. No. Okay, no. What she thought about him? That he liked the metal music. Uh huh. It's that he was heavy. like heavy metal. Yeah. Heavy metal. Exactly right. Yeah. <laughs> but what happened? What did she figure it out? It was like that or no? No. No. Mm hmm. So the guide wasn't or aren't too serious. 
and she he had a good sense of humor, right? Yes. What else? What is the other information that she can that should give us about him? What else she said about him? He rides a, a motorcycle. He rides a motorcycle. What else? Uh -huh. And get along very well. Get and along very well. Why? Uh, he is very funny. They uh -huh. will get together again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Th th that is a person who it, she can talk to, right? Exactly. And do you remember what it was the expression that she said when he asked him, when the other guy asked him uh, that if he's, she's going to meet him again? What did she say? Definitely. Uh, uh, uh. What? What did she say? You said? Definitely. Uh -huh. Definitely. Like, woohoo, of course, right? <laughs> Definitely, I'm going to go with that guy. Very good. Okay. So that's why I want you guys to pay attention of those or are into serials is that I can talk to, et cetera, because that will help us with today's topic, part of the topic, okay? Today, guys, I'm going to teach you, or we're going to talk about the, the relative pronouns, the who and that, but only as a subject right now, okay? Mm -hmm. And tomorrow will be as a subject. Don't worry, that is going to be easy, busy, queasy, you know, like a piece of cake, right? That is one idiom that you already know, that piece of yes. cake. Yes. Yes. All righty. So, <clears throat> let the blood start. Okay. Let me share right now my screen. And I want to share it right now with you, but I will put it in a different way. There you go. Okay. And just let me know as soon as you're able to see it, okay? For us, for me, it's really important. Let me share it. Da, 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 da. Can you see my screen, guys? Yes or yes. no? Yes. Okay. Yes. Cool. Yes. Mm, All right. Yes. Okay. He'll say, mm, yes. Ricardo, no. Or Ivan. I, I see it. Uh, Ali, okay. Ali, okay. Okay, guys, so today we're going to focus on this one, okay, on this part. Okay, uh, 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 um, let me do it. Don't, don't look on the lower part, just look on the upper part, which is really interesting in. So I just want you guys to pay attention on here, okay? That's it. Okay, let's pretend, let's look at on the ref, left side here. There you go. Okay. Let me choose another one. There you go. Okay. Take a look at this first sentence. I have two clauses here or two statements or two sentences. I like guys. Period. That's one idea. They are in two serious. Second idea. Is it right? Yes. Okay. Then we have another idea here. I like guys, they have a good sense of humor, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so we're, we're good in here. Let me do something really quickly. Let me open this, yes, all right. Okay, guys, we have two ideas here. I like guys, one idea. They aren't too serious. Is it right? Here we go. Let me check something. This one, let me go here and let's put here. There you go. Okay. Let me ask you guys, uh, these are two ideas or one idea? Two or one? Two idea. Two. Two ideas, two exactly. Ideas. Two ideas. In this case, the pronouns as the subjects, they repeat it twice. Why? Because I want you to take a look at this. You see, we have guys here, right? And we have also guys here. 
Okay. So I have two ideas here. The thing is, how am I going to combine these two sentences into one? Okay. There you go. The one that I need to basically scratch, if I can say that, is this one. You see? Because the clause or the pronoun is this one, guys. In my guys is a pronoun, yes or no? A pronoun. No. Yes. Noun. No. Oh. Guys, is, guys, a noun. Exactly. So, what is the pronoun here? They. 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 Exactly. But if you see, guys, they is talking about guys, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. But in this case, we're using the pronoun. And then we have, this is the pronoun of the clause, of the clause. Mm -hmm. But it's, like, it's doing the function of a subject, which in this case, they, they, of course, they are talking about the guys. They, what happened? They aren't too serious. If you see, this is the verb, the verb to be in negative way, right? And then mm -hmm. we have the complement. So how am I going to combine these two ideas and to uh, get rid of this one because I, I don't I don't have to I cannot use guys and they two times to use a relative pronoun as a subject I need to erase one of them so in this case what I'm gonna do is going to erase the pronoun that is in the relative clause in this case they, they. I will erase it and how you're going to construct a sentence. Well, take a look. So this one is already erased. I'm going to use only guys, okay? So this is what I can do. So since I already erased that, okay, I'm going to like use it and to become only one sentence. So you said, and you put it in, this one, let me take it off. Yes. Okay, cool. Oh no, I'm ready to put it here. There you go. Okay. You said, I like guys. And what, what are the relative pronouns here? Who? 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 That. Who? Okay, Who? I put it here. Or that. Who? Or that. Who or that. Who or that. Aaron, exactly. Aaron. Uh, Two zeros, right? Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So in this case, guys, who and that, we can use them for persons, okay? Who and that. Who? You can use it, who and that. You can say, I like guys who are into zeros, or you can say, I like guys that are into zeros. For yeah. example, Alice said, I like a girl who I can talk with, right? or who respects me. That's what he, she, he said. Mm -hmm. And guys, you can say, I like guys. You can also say, you can always change this. Let me check it out, this one. Let me notice this, make it here. Guys, you can say, I like guys. You can say, I like girls. You can say, I like um, woman. I like men. This one, you. This is this is different. You can say whatever you wanted to, right? as long as you're talking about persons, okay? Is it clear? Yes. yes. Like yes. water? Like water. Are yep, you like sure water. that is like a water? Are you 100% yes. sure about that? Okay, very good. And take a look at the second example. I like guys, they have a good sense of humor. If you, if you think, if you take a look at the first sentence, guys, aren't too serious. When we're talking about, guys, an adjective of a person, take a look. We're going to use the verb to be. You see? Aren't too serious. But if you're going to talk about another um another not quality but also part of some somebody's personality 
you can use have or you can use another verb. But in this case, we're talking about have because we want that uh, we love somebody that have a good sense of humor. Are you with me or no? Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Easy peasy queasy, right? Like piece of cake. Yeah. Or right. mm hmm. 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 Hey, come on. Yes. Who and that. Hey guys. Um and let me ask, let me let me do something and do an exercise for you. Take a look at this. Because I, I don't know if you have noticed this or not, but we're talking about pronouns as a subject. That I think this is the easiest part. But if you're going to use it as a subject, you must use who and that. You cannot, listen carefully, you cannot repeat the, the noun and the pronoun. And also you cannot take out those words, who and that because it will make sense. For example, let me read it to you. I like guys are into serious. I like guys have a good sense of humor. Does that make sense? No. No, but now Ale, can you please read it for me like the way it is right now? With who and that, please? Uh, I like guys who aren't too serious. Uh-huh, now with that. Yeah. I like guys that aren't too serious. Exactly. Very good. Why I mentioned this, guys? Be hey, let's come back to business. Because as an object, there will be things that are going to be different. So that's why I why I, that's why I emphasize on the last part. Okay. It's easy. But now you understand how it goes. For example, you have to talk about relative pronouns as a subject in the present way. Okay, present, no past and future, present. And if you would like to talk about somebody else adjective, you have to use which verb, guys? Which verb do we mention before? Of? Verb to be. To be. When we're talking about um. adjective or qualities. But if you do, what would you, what would you like to talk about somebody's personality, you can use have, have a good sense of humor, have a um, good active listener, for example, right? Have, etc. Mm -hmm. And, and the first one is for qualities. Uh huh. Are in too serious, for example. Quality. It's a quality. Mm -hmm. okay. It's a quality because it's an adjective. And remember that an adjective describes the noun. The noun. In this case, a guys was the subject, right? Yes. And they okay. substitute the word guys. Do you understand that? Is it busy quizzing? No. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. So exactly. That's why. That's why. Qualities, verb to be. Okay. And when you transform these two ideas into became one, you can use who or that. But do not repeat uh, the word they. For example, you cannot say, I like guys who aren't who are in they two zeros. You cannot say that. And you need to like case, erase in, that they. Yes, Alejandro. Uh, sorry. Uh, in what case we in what case we uh, don't use the verb to be? Oh, for example, when you're not going to express qualities. Mm -hmm. Example? Example, the yeah. second example that we have. Uh, the one that we already mentioned right now before, we can say, who for example, a, to ha who have a good sense of humor. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or you can say, who have an active listening skill. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like that. Yes, Marianita. Can you repeat that please no. again? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to the beginning. <laughs> to the beginning. From no to the beginning. No. From the, the beginning. The beginning. Okay. From the beginning. <laughs> Bye. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just saying that when you're talking about relative pronouns as a subject, if you would like to express 
somebody's qualities like uh, the aren't too serious, the aren't too jealous, right? Like Janet said, for example, you have to use the verb to be either in present, well, in present, but it, either in positive way or in negative way. Mm -hmm. But if you would like to uh, talk about a uh, not quality, but part of other people's personality, like a good sense of humor, for example, you cannot say who are good sense of humor. You cannot say that. You have to say who have a good sense of humor, right? Doesn't make sense, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So that is really important. Depends on what is exactly you are going to say. You can use either one verb or you can use another verb. For example, let me check here. I think I sent you some information here on the group. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, for example, um, mm -hmm. number one, the one that I said, what men look for in a partner, believe in his capabilities. What do you think? Are we going to use R or are we going to use have? Or we're going to use another verb? Have. Mm hmm Who have believed in your capability, in my capabilities, for example. Exactly. That depends exactly because this one is not um, quality. This one is part of somebody else's personality. You see? Ricardo, are you with me? It's like, Ricardo's like a big question over here. Are you with me or you're not with me? Ricardo. Houston, do we have a problem here? Do we have a problem here? <laughs> I think we have a problem, Houston. I listen. Ah, you're listening. No, I, I'm asking is if it's everything's clear. So far, so good? Yes. Okay. And I clear. Like, I hopefully, understand. hopefully, like water, no like horchata. Okay, guys, don't worry. You aren't a good listener. Uh-huh. Who aren't a good listener, exactly. Or who are a good listener. Okay. Mm-hmm. Or if you want to say who have a good listening skill, you can say that. Mm -hmm. okay. You can say that. You see, you're okay. not talking about a specific quality. You're talking about part of his personality. Ability. Ability. Exactly. Very good. So tomorrow, guys, we're going to talk about relative pronoun, but as an object. Why I didn't like um, put it together in one class for one reason because i want you to be clear separately because sometimes it could be confused so okay. i just want it right now to see it separately and now now that tomorrow you will understand the second part where we'll be able to do some writing exercises okay so you see the blood already started teacher. yes teacher uh, ivan right yes teacher i feel i know one seat very I feel very sure this class. Really? No. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. Already past 10 or 2, right? Oh, my goodness. Time passed really fast. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You see, I told you, you're going to be to feel really good. The class will be really fast. And it's only one. The first class of this model. That's amazing, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Okay, guys. So study because maybe tomorrow, I don't know, right? But maybe tomorrow we're going to do a recap about what we have seen today. And hopefully as a really good students as you are, you're going to answer the question that I will ask you tomorrow, right? <laughs> I don't like this part. <laughs> you don't like this part. Okay. No, you, but you will love it. No, I promise. I <laughs> no, just kidding. Okay, it was nice to see you once again, guys. I wish you a really great night. Sweet dreams. Have a really good meal. So hugs and kisses.
Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Take care. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night.